something is running this machine, which I have no control over and I have no say. It's, a, it's an intelligence is running it. There is also an intelligence that running everything else, like, Every day turns to night, every night turns to day. I mean, it's like clockwork. It's always like that. It's never like the day never, never ends. It's never been like that. And it's something is making this planet turn around itself, this huge planet is being run, turning around itself. What does that? And it's as it's turning around itself, it's turning around the sun. Something is doing it. Something is much beyond my understanding is running the show. And in recognizing that, you, I surrender to it. I trust it. And at times things start to look scary, but you're trusting it. That I am really not my own responsibility. Papaji used to always say that, my sat guru in Lakna. He always used to say that. And of course, it took me years to recognize, realize that. There is something bigger than me that is really feeding me. It's taking care of me. It's when I'm driving, sometimes I'm not paying attention. I'm on my phone doing other things. And it's protecting me not to collide into another car. So we recognize that and we trust in, in it. And the whole pandemic thing, 30 years from now, 50 years from now, maybe 10, 20, I don't know. Later, you look back and maybe you understand why it happened. Maybe, for example, I never, someone, uh, let, let's say, um, you know, through history, later on, you look back and maybe you get some answers. At this point, why does the source want this to happen? It's happening for whatever reason. But in this dance that is happening, it's also forcing a lot of people to wake up. It's forcing a lot of people to question things. So a part of it is an awakening. And a lot of people wake up through that and they're forced to meditate, forced to go deep within themselves. In comparison that when everything is just like easy and the money's coming and everything is fine and you're traveling and you're going to parties and events and gatherings and festivals and Da, 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 da. It has the appearance that it looks like it kind of puts us, puts us to sleep. And things need to be shaken. And sometimes life needs to get tough or you're pushed out of your norm for, for us to wake up, to dig deeper. Whatever. So what you're saying, what Go you're ahead. saying is to hold sp hold space for everybody else that's waking up. Because I guess what I'm looking for is so like step by step instructions. When something is looming, you take the mind which wants to be panicking, and you literally turn the volume down and you say, "Okay, ego, no dictating. I don't want your opinion. I'm turning the volume down. You're going to be quiet." And then you go inside and you surrender to that electricity that it is 
all of it. And that even under these circumstances, there is a solution and I'm gonna trust no matter what it is that's coming up that I'm afraid of or that I don't have the answer to the solution, I'm gonna let go. I'm just gonna totally let go. And that some type of, I'm gonna trust that this force, it has my phone number, it has my email, it knows where I walk, it knows where I am. If it wants to connect me, it will. Because I guess I hear what you're saying for the greater collective. I'm finding that without judgment, the conversations that I'm overhearing are hurting my ears. And so like when I sit with the plants on the hill to meditate, I'm finding better connection with those little pieces of flower and plants. That consciousness is easier for me to connect with than another human being for the most part, except for maybe like you guys, but you're not in person. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, I understand what you're saying. Absolutely. So how do you find that job and that those friends and those roommates and those miracles? So just surrender no matter what, no matter what is in front of you, just that's the ticket, right? Just turn down the mind and then you surrender to the divinity. If you can, if, if you can surrender, yes. If you can. If it's in your dharma, if it's in your path of coming to this point of recognizing, surrendering, then it will happen. And if it's meant for you to struggle for another 10 years, that's what will be. Because when you go deeper, there is no you. It's just a thought. There's a thought that there is a me and this me can decide what to do. But it's been quite a while that I, it's the recognition has come that there is no me, there is no Zarathustra, there's no person separated who can decide on its own what to do. It's like something much greater is running through this dude to this guy and it does whatever it wants to do and sometimes it does crazy stuff but yes basically surrendering to what is because what can you do about it i mean you can go on facebook on social media and write all these things about the pandemic the conspiracy it's all fake it's bullshit they're going to be injecting you with all this shit da 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 da, da. Which, but where is it going to go? You're just activating your mind all the time. You're just in anxiety. You're in anger. You're in fear. And your reality becomes conflict. Versus if you're surrendering and you're pulling back, space opens up. And even in the middle of all these craziness, let's say they're just bombing, there's mines, there's fires, there's gangs, there's all kinds of stuff. And when you're pulling back and you're relaxing a little bit into what is, then all of a sudden you see this pathway appears which was invisible before, but now all of a sudden it makes itself visible that you can go through these things, through this pathway. While these things are happening, you find your way through it. And it doesn't touch you. 